Hey guys, it's been a while, but it's myself and Mr. Dalton, and it is time for another road trip, folks. How far are we going? 60, 70 miles? It's about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. There we go. All right, guys, we'll see you when we get there. Hey guys, there's the man, Mr. Dalton. Him and I are on another road trip. We're in this really old park, maybe about as old as the one in Georgia. I'll show you the swing set behind me in a second. Uh, Dalton just got a weedy. I think he said it was a 51 or 53. So it was about three inches down. I, another weedy. There is my centerpiece to the cap gun. Right there. Got a year? 40. Okay. All right, guys, I am sitting on the tailgate of Dalton's truck taking a break. He just said he's calling silver. Of course, in an area that I have hunted over. He's got four or five weedies, and the one he just got over by the fence was uh, 1917. He's had all 40s and 50s, but he just got a 17, so we've got a 105-year-old coin today. And I just did get my first weedy right there. Two days later. Clad dime. Okay. And here is my first weedy of the day, guys. 51D. All right. Dalton said his dime was a 69, so that was close, guys. All right, guys, it's been a tough day for me. Dalton's already around seven, seven uh, Wheaties. Uh, I've got about 15 memorials, but guys, on a real bouncy, deep signal here, I believe I have silver. I got all excited and threw it back down. If you see it, holler. Is that it? There it is, right there. Oh, that's a beautiful Merc, guys. My first one for April. 45. I will take that, guys. Dalton was just saying a minute ago, that's where a nice, is the nice silver? Shape. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Well, that makes up for you having there you go. half a or dozen Wheaties. I'll trade you. Yeah, I know you would. <laughs> All righty, guys. 45. Boom. Rob's finally on the board with some silver for April. All right. There's where I pulled the 45 Merc. Came over here, told Dalton I got another crappy deep signal bouncing all over the place. Uh, I think. I, I see it. I see it. Look at you. That's another one. Guys, it's been a long time since so I had back to back silvers, guys. 44. 44. I will take. Boy, that's clean. Woo! Thank you, sir. There you go. Boom. Okay, guys. Yeah, Dalton knows I'm in a lot of back pain. But, yeah, I feel a lot better right now. I'm going to stay right in this area. All right, gang, Mr. Dalton's coming over to me. He just got another weedy. And he's coming over with a brush and some water. So look at my first really good relic find of the day. I'm going to drop it in his hand. That's the way the back looked. Folded like a taco. It is. But that has definitely got some fancy scroll work on it. Yeah, that is. I don't know if you dare. Uh... No. No, I'll uh, see your brush in a sec. Well, guys, here's that uh, taco folded piece of brass that you saw me pull out of the park there with Mr. Dalton. Uh, I had my neighbor Bob very slowly heat it up and bend it out. He still. Uh, Still broke here a little bit, but the other side stayed together. Guys, this is a vintage women's brooch. Here is the two little pieces that went right there. I will JB weld them back on. But yeah, the pin went across there. There's the little the pin piece. And guys, right here you can see that that, that ridge held a uh, probably an opal or emerald or some type of stone there. And this went on a, uh, a woman's... Uh, uh, woman's blouse uh, big heavy it might have been gold plated at one time but a big heavy brass vintage lapel pin so that's what that turned out to be and like I say we'll go ahead and get those put back on and that will go into my vintage jewelry collection all right well guys you can't really see him through the playground set but Dalton's at his truck getting a drink and having a snack and guys he just got us that church permission uh, the original building's probably 40s or 50s, but they've owned that ground since 1910. And Dalton said there used to be a very old church, the original church, on the other side of that giant oak tree. 
and they just gave us permission to do their grounds. I'm sitting here on a bench in the park, taking a back break, gonna go get something to drink with Dalton, and then we're heading over to the church permission. Dalton's got at least 10 Wheaties here on this playground. All right, hey gang, Dalton's cleaning up my latest find. We still haven't moved over to the church yet. We're still giving the park a once over. Guys, I just got a thimble. I haven't gotten a thimble in probably over a year. It's a little teeny one. I was hoping it might be silver, but I don't I don't think so. But guys, it's got that nice fancy on the bottom. What'd that ring up as? Bouncy mid-20s. There we go, guys. Nice little thimble. I haven't had one, like I say, in over a year. All right. And guys, Mr. Dalton starts our hunt off at the church with a 1930 Wheaty. Boom, 90-year-old coin, and he just got a 41 Jefferson a few minutes ago. So this 110-year-old ground could pay off, guys. Well, guys, it's already mid-afternoon. We're still on the church property there. And I will show you right there. That's all I'm going to show you, the sign. Uh, nice, deep, quiet coin signal there, guys. And we've been getting a lot of these beautiful, crusty green memorials, but not this one, guys. Boom, look at that beautiful back. 1946. I will take that, guys. Boom, for my second weedy of the day. All right. Hey, guys. Dalton just put his gear in the truck. You can see he's not geared up anymore. There's the truck right there, guys. I did a circle around this side of the truck, and I said, uh, I, got a, I got a really shallow 3-inch 26, 27. I said, I'll take a clad dime to end the day. And, guys, here's the coin impression. I said, Dalton, I don't know if it's silver or if it's just shiny. Dalton picked it up. There's the coin impression. He goes, Rob, that's a 51 Rosie. You got silver three inches down. Boom, guys. My third silver dime. It's been a long, long time since I've had a three silver day. And these are my first three for April 2022. Boom. And now for something completely different. Hey, gang. Rob here. And I am with Mr. Dirt Troll and Troy out there. We're on a series of properties here, like four or five of these. And they gave us permission to do all these properties today. These are, I think, 20s and 30s houses. That house right there was an original outhouse to a house that's no longer here. Uh, Troy has 10 Wheaties, a silver, and one of the coolest tokens or challenge coins I've ever seen. You'll be seeing all that. I've got two memorials, two clad dimes, and I just pulled out this big thing. Well, okay, gang, Minardo Rob is on the board with a 1947 Wheatster. We came out that same bright green all our memorials have, but nope. Broke the ice, guys. 47 Wheatster. My 16th since my last club meeting. Fantastic. The hot streak continues. Alrighty, guys. Mr. Troy just got some... Looks like an old pill tin or something like that. It's got a nice hinge on it. Ready? Yep. Okay. We'll see if there's anything behind the... Looks, him. looks like it's... I think it's an old pill box. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with you on that one. All right, guys, we'll clean this up a little bit later. Nice find, sir. All right. Boom, nice relic. Yeah. All righty, guys. Troy said this is some type of old faucet valve. It's uh, completely brass. And, guys, it was well, well over a foot deep. Guys, this new Dragon XT with the 9-inch blade on it is so much easier to dig a, a deep hole. And then your serrated edges are able to get you around your sides. Look at that nice, neat plug it cut. Guys, this is my first really big test with the Dragon XT31, and I am loving it. Hey guys, All right. Mr. Troy's gonna pick up my find. It rang up a 32 to 34. Absolutely. I don't know if it's silver or not, but this Gorgeous. is obviously my find of the day. It's Navy. It's It looks like some oh. type of military. Does it say Sterling right there? Yes, it does. Look how beautiful. Let me get my brush out. Yes, sir. Oh, look at that, guys. Look what does it say on the bottom there? I think it says armor. I can't tell. I can't see it. Alrighty, guys, look at this beautiful military pin. But it's got the anchor, and I think that's a gold anchor. Yeah, it might be. Let's see. The back says AMIC Sterling. We're going to research this. The pin back's still on it. Yes, it is. Can you brush that back? Absolutely. Thank you. Wow, Rob, that's it. Guys, I would say this is my find of the month, but I've had so many great finds this month. Are you bragging? I am. This has been. I'm on a little bit of a roll right now, and I'm you are oh, man guys i can't read that bottom word it's i'm sure it's latin for something no air oh it could be air something air guard oh there we go air guard 
Air crew. Is it air crew? There we oh, go, okay. guys. Look at that. I couldn't make Oh, that's it. a nice shot right there. I'm yeah. sure there was something on top there. Yeah. But guys, I don't care. There you go. You see Sterling. Boom, sir. Man, man. Good, oh, good job. Only got one weedy, but that is awesome, guys. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty. Research has showed that this is a World War II Navy and Marine Corps combat aviator badge for enlisted uh, personnel. It is Sterling Silver. And the anchor on some pages tell me it's gold and other pages it tells me it's gold plated but at least silver and gold plating the three holes up top you put gold stars in were for combat missions and if you filled three of them up you took out a gold star and put in a silver which signified three missions so you could put a total of nine missions total on the pin all right guys mr troy gets the first weedy since i've been here 42 There we go. First weekster since I've been here. It's number 11 for him today. Boom. All right, guys, look at this great foreign coin that Troy found. We think it's silver. I'm going to look it up right now. I think it's Chinese. Well, guys, this is not a Chinese coin. It is a Japanese coin. And it is a 1909, and it is 80% silver, and it is 10 over 10 grams of silver. 80% silver. This thing is heavy as hell. It's as thick as... It's as thick as a half dollar and bigger than a quarter. So probably somewhere between a quarter and a half dollar. That is Troy's find of the day. Look at that absolutely beauty right there. Oh, that is gorgeous. All right. All righty, guys. I've been trying to figure out the settings on this new phone. I finally got the camera to work. There's Mr. Troy. He just got another weedy right where he's at. And, guys, it's almost five, It's after 5 o'clock. I think I got here around 2, 2.30. Guys, finally got weedy number two here in the front yard. The proverbial 1944. So... Two Wheaties for me. Troy's got two silvers on the day. That Japanese coin is phenomenal, Troy. Yeah, I love it, man. Thank you. Hey, gang. I'm back out here at uh, mine and Dalton's big, huge, multi-acre church permission that we've had for over two years. And we've gotten over a double... A dozen silvers including I've gotten a walker with two mercury spill I've also got a Benji here from on the other side of that house there we've got this whole thing we've been hunting this for years guys came over here got a perfect 26 27 signal just stuck the new dragon XT 31 in the ground and guys it's been a long time since in the clump I've gotten silver showing in the clump as I pull the dirt out and you can still see Oh yeah, look at that nice coin ball on the back, guys. That is a beautiful little rosy. 1963. Guys, we've been hunting this property for two years. Right there on the other side of that curb strip, right where my finger's pointing, is where I got my, I think, 1910 or 1912 British Honduras uh, 10 cent piece, only 10,000 made. This, the uh, the Walker half dollar came way back on that lot there. The choke jones all this guy. Dalton got a vintage gold plated ring over there. Oh guys, this place I had never expected to get another silver out of this place. I was hoping for a weedy today. There we go. 